Hello everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting I've video. I've just pulled up for a very early day of fossil hunting at Port Mulgrave. It's a little bit windy, but no one else seems to be here. I'm going to head down the rope and let's see if there's any good finds to be spotted. Bit of wildlife here on the way down to the beach, off he goes. Nice frog, off he goes into the night. Now I'm heading down the rope onto the beach down below. It's a shame you can't see much. Usually a beautiful view at the if top. If any of you are wondering which way I'm going, I'm going left at the bottom rather than going right. So I've just spotted the very first duck of the day, wearing out on the floor here. Fortunately that middle looks like it's not going to be all there. I'm going to leave this one. If anyone else comes along, <laughs> it's down there. There's a lot better ones out here, I'm sure of it. This looks like it'll be a really good one. Yeah, a perfect looking keel on that ammonite there. If you get a chisel in, it'll pop straight away. I'm going to take this one back. So there's a bit of an ammonite multi block here. There's at least three, probably three or four showing. I'm going to take this one back because while they are worn on the edges, it does look like it'll be a really nice one once prepared. Potentially, anyway. Well worth the risk. A bit of Gyrostius fishbone there. I've got quite a lot of this stuff, so I don't take it anymore because there's only so much of it you can collect. I wonder if someone's popped this open and then left it because I certainly will be taking it. It's a beautiful dark. I don't understand why someone would leave that one. Really nice. Dark. Perfect one to pop open with a chisel. This doesn't get much better really. And it looks really nicely pirated as well. That cap there will just pop straight off. It's getting a little bit lighter now. I'm not sure if the camera will pick up the light change, but I've just picked up this absolutely beautiful dark. Perfect all the way around. Again, another one for the nodule box. I always do try and put at least one really nice one like this with a really good chance of splitting it open. So if you would like to purchase your own, please go ahead and take a look at my website called biofossil.com and you can purchase your own boxes full of these nodules. So now the sun is definitely starting to come up. Quite a little bit more light now. And I've just picked up this really nice cannonball with an elegant iterus poking out of the top. That looks beautiful, it should be complete inside that. So I've picked up about six or seven dacks around I'm this. I'm gonna go ahead and search the other side of Port Mulgrave now really quickly and then I'm gonna head over to Runswick. So I've just spotted an absolute corker down here. Get the keel on that. So tempting to tap, but I've pretty much stopped tapping them on the beach and I bring every nodule like this home. If you do enjoy watching these fossil hunting videos that I make and you'd like to see more in the future, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can see more. Thank you. What I'm going to do on the next video is I'll put a poll up on my community page of all the different beaches that I collect fossils at and I'll let you guys vote and the top one is where the next video gets filmed just to try something different. Please go ahead and leave a vote so you can see the rope up there where you come down onto the beach and it does look like this side is pretty empty. I can't see a single other person so that's always good. So it does appear to be stripped right down to the bedrock. There's a little bit of sand over there, but there's not many rocks. I will have a look, because you never know what's waiting to be found. A little worn Hildoceros wearing out of this beach pebble. Check that duck out. Pure quality. And a really nice size too. That's how I like to find them. 
for absolute corkers today. Oh, it's going to split so well. Look at that crack, it's almost coming apart. Just going to walk to the end here, then I'll start making my way back. It's been a nice change, go somewhere different. So I can see some footprints here. So I guess the sea's not been all the way up to the cliffs. So I'll look a little bit further out. You can see where the sea is actually been because the shingle is all a bit darker and wet looking. That's usually where you want to be looking. Time for a quick 30 minute hunt at Runswick. It doesn't look like the tide's gone out very far at all. Just gonna walk to the end there just before Kettle Ness and then make my way back. This walk seems a little bit longer today. A lovely empty beach. Just a few dog walkers. No collectors by the look of it. Looks like there's an awful lot of sand again though. So the first sign of a fossil, it's a tenucostatum nodule. Fortunately it is only a partial one. We're looking for whole ones. There we go, a nice looking example of a tenucostatum nodule in there. I'm going to get it out. I've brought my chisel. It's come out, it should all be in there. So you can see the edge of the ammonite there, poking out. Worth the uh, walk up, just to find that nodule. Now let's see if there's anything else. I can't really see much else which has been washed in at Runswick. Thank you all if you've got this far in the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Look at this old, I guess it's a World War II pillbox. Have a quick peek in there. Looks like it's just full of rocks. So today's haul, some really nice ones, including this beauty. Old Dax, nothing particularly interesting. Maybe a little hildy, wherever that one, that little hildy there. I'd say that's a very good day out collecting. So just very quickly, I wanted to show you something that I found earlier on in the week. A really nice spiny ammonite. So this is the most spiny or spiky example of a Yorkshire ammonite that I've ever found. Look at them beautiful spikes. Hopefully it's picking it up. I mean, this would be a nightmare to prep, but I'm going to keep it exactly as it is, as found, because I think these spines would just be lost during the actual preparation but both sides are totally covered with these spines. I believe this one is a Peronoceros. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a prepared one that I've found again quite recently. So here's the idea of this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Ammonite. So this one again has a beautiful middle, it popped all the way pretty much to the middle when I originally found it and that is very rare for these ammonites because with all the nodes or spines whatever you want to call them they're extremely sticky and usually they just break 